Tehama County in part because of very low vaccination rates there. Action News Now reporter Christian Lopez spoke with public health officials today in Tehama County and shows us how they're dealing with this. I talked to Tehama County public health officials here at their Red Bluff office and they say that less than a third of people have been vaccinated and the number of COVID cases in this county has more than doubled in the last two weeks. There's a lot of people here who have not had their vaccines and it's pretty dangerous and they don't realize the consequence that could happen without being vaccinated. Lynn Hawthorne lives in Red Bluff. She's worried the coronavirus will keep spreading if more people don't get vaccinated. The spread is the big deal because a lot of people will not wear masks. They just think, I guess, they're above that. But uh, I, my big concern is just that the spread of everything because you can't see it or smell it, but it sure gets you. In the last 14 days, the number of COVID cases here in Tehama County went from 230 to 547. That is an average of about 40 cases per day. I went to the Tehama County Public Health Department to see how they're dealing with the vaccine hesitancy. We always encourage people to get you know educated and to understand how the vaccine works. And uh, from that standpoint, and we just always encourage people to become educated about it in multiple different locations, you know, all definitely we, you know, we try to drive people towards um, scientific resources so that, you know, they're getting accurate information about what's been happening with the vaccine, uh, how the vaccine works. Michelle Schmidt works at the county health department. She says they have all of the vaccines available to the community, but says people can do more. We just strongly encourage folks to, you know, uh, vaccinate as course and then also uh, we encourage people to be masking, especially right now, since we have, um, you know, this surge that that's another way that they people can protect themselves from from spreading the disease. Tehama County public health officials say right now, 19 people are hospitalized with COVID-19. The surge they're seeing right now is nearing what they saw back at their peak in December. Reporting in Tehama County, Christian Lopez, Action News Now coverage you can count on. Just 31% of Tehama County residents are fully vaccinated. The ICU capacity is at 50% right now.